And we are back at Strawberry Mansion, where just last year, the threat of violence overshadowed the promise of education. Now, a new school year is underway with new hope, thanks to Diane Sawyer's reporting and your generosity, plus a little extra help from a surprising celebrity source. A new school year at Strawberry Mansion. I'm like really excited. A fresh start. All the stuff last year, not gonna happen. It's the first day, and this year students are imposing a little order of their own. Medium or small. Asking for school uniforms. Uniforms in part paid for by you, ABC viewers. I miss you. I miss you too. <laughs> Two of my favorite people in the world. <laughs> a familiar voice. <laughs> Principal Linda Wayman, back for her second year at Strawberry Mansion. I am the bell. I'm the bell. It is now time to transition. Bing! And she has done something extraordinary for the first time in six years. All right, let's go move! The school is no longer considered one of the country's most dangerous. Through sheer force of will, Principal Wayman has cut the serious incidents nearly in half. And your tidal wave of generosity has helped breathe new life into the school. Just when I really did think that there was no hope in America, and then you all aired the special. Jesus. I never felt such joy in my life. When them phones started ringing and somebody to notice that we are at least trying to make it right. Oh my God, somebody besides me actually do care. Viewers helped provide 13 scholarships for seniors heading off to college. Remember Christine Holland, who couldn't afford the deposit fee at the school of her dreams? We wanted to come down and offer you the opportunity to study with us and give you a scholarship to be able to do so. Yeah. The university is giving her full and free tuition. Oh, look at that girl. <laughs> And at Strawberry Mansion, you covered a lot of basic necessities that are a given at most American schools, like books for classes, calculators, notebooks. But as we follow the first few months of the school, we're reminded that in some ways, it's still close to the edge. <laughs> at times, there are still brutal fights, like this one, which made its way to YouTube. And by the way, take a look at the girl being hit. She is the same young woman who stepped in when I was there to try to protect me. We don't want nobody here, Diane. And this year, the school is trying to move forward despite citywide budget cuts. Remember those endless hallways? A lot fewer guards and police. They feel deserted. What happened to your hall attendants? Well, they all got laid off. I had 17 last year. This year, I got five. I have nobody on one. So therefore, that all I can do is walk. You, you know when they get revved up, they'll realize that it is nobody. And that's what I'm worried about. And there are fewer teachers, even though class sizes doubled. But outside the classroom, if there is one thing that symbolizes what has happened at this school, it is this. For 62 years, the school could only dream of its own football team. But tonight, meet the Strawberry Mansion Knights. Let's go, Anthony, let's go. We lobby, we got a petition sign. This reminds people that we're here, we're legitimate, we're still a school, we're still running, and we still have a lot to offer. Go, 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 go. The Knights, already underdogs with their quarterback suspended. Sophomore Jaquan Owens steps in to save the day. The game is a blowout. This is my first time ever playing quarterback. I feel good. I stepped up today. 40 for nothing. Yeah. All right. Yeah. Can you show me some moves? This chair is called Work It. Work It. Hey. And someone is cheering them on, though from the nice. sidelines. You know how we do. So Remember Malaysia? She's not on the cheerleading team because she got into a fight after school. There are rules to this game in North Philadelphia. You don't survive with your fists in this neighborhood. So the only way you're going to survive it is to get out of there and think. But she is back on track now in the 10th grade and doing well in her studies. And what about Razak? How tall are you? Five foot. He's a bit taller now, five foot two inches, and a bit more confident thanks to his new hobby. 
Well, most of the people in there had years of experience, and I had to learn really quick. It was really hard. But that's not going to deter you? Not really. I like it. In a surprise, Razak moved in with his father, living outside of Philadelphia, but still missing Strawberry Mansion. Uh, I wish I could go to Strawberry Mansion again, but... And even though he is no longer her student, Principal Wayman, eyes and ears everywhere, continues to be his mentor. How does it make you feel that Ms. Wayman's still involved? I mean, a lot to me. Even though she has a lot of students in her school, she still took her time out to worry about a, a student that's not in her school. You doing your work? Yes. On paper? Yes. She's worried that he's at another crossroads. I don't like school. You don't like school? No. But what are you going to do if you don't go to school? You can't do nothing. You can't do nothing, huh? So there's two places to go. The prison, where you don't have to think, and in the cemetery. Neither one of those places are for you. A message about reality. And it resonates outside her world, inspiring some unforeseen supporters to join her cause. What's up, ladies? A few months ago, Drake, the Grammy Award winning hip hop artist, showed up to surprise the students. I caught this piece that Diane did. By the end of it, I was so heavily affected, I started like, like questioning like major aspects of my life. I'm gonna be here for you, I promise. Look at me in my eyes, I got you. I'm gonna be here for y'all. In the next few months, I'm building a, a recording studio inside your school. This is about you, this is about your principal, this is about your future. I love you, I care about you, I want to see you succeed. And another symbol of promise for the students at Strawberry Mansion. The 22 gets blocked there. Today is the last game of the season, and the Mansion Knights, so far undefeated. I'm proud, I'm happy. Yes, yes. Strawberry Mansion alumni. Let's go, Mansion, let's go! That's my son, number nine, Bernie Woman. The Knights end the season just as they began. Hey, we They're just, just won. celebrating. What are we, 10 out, 9 and out, what are we? I think we, what are we? We're undefeated. We're undefeated. 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 First season ever. This community in this school, we get no victories. We don't. We don't. We don't win anything. I might not be able to get him into Harvard. I may not, you know, be able to give him anything materialistic. But I can give him some hope. And God, don't underestimate the power of hope, because when children have hope, they can succeed.